How's it going guys? So, currently it's snowing right now here in Denton. Oh yeah, that's right, I moved to, I moved to Denton. I missed y'all a lot. I am so sorry I haven't uploaded in a long time. I've been going through so many changes. I've been juggling a lot of things. Doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> so one thing I wanted to talk about was sleeping. With this new job that I have out here, I have been getting up every morning at 4 a.m. I am not used to that whatsoever. People tend to forget how important sleep is. When you do get some sleep, you tend to have pleasant dreams or some freaking weird dreams. Normally I can't remember my dreams unless it has very prominent detail of being very weird and or just terrifying. I still have terrifying dreams to this day. Lately I've been crashing at my girlfriend's house and She's been tolerating me as I try to sleep and wake up very early the next morning. Devin, you are, you're simply awesome. I don't know how you put up with my ass. I've tried so hard to not disturb you because I know you're a light sleeper. <laughs> but apparently the other night I kept waking up at least four times. See, I haven't taken z in a very long time, so I knew that Okay, I need sleep. I need to go to bed early and actually get some sleep for work. So I bought some z I took it, and I also took some pain medication prior for my back and neck. Maybe mixing those two together might not have been the best idea, but I was fine. I was perfectly coherent. I wasn't going anywhere, and... <laughs> so I... <laughs> So I was trying to go to sleep after taking those two things and I passed out like that. Devin passed out around the same time I did or at least shortly thereafter. Four times I had a night terror and I'm not sure what the definition of night terror is but at least my personal definition which is uh, I've struggled with night terrors for quite a while and I, they come and go but I would w sit straight up, apparently, and scream or start freaking out, saying, what is that, what is that, who is that at the door? And she would tell me, there's nobody there, everything's fine, you're cool. <laughs> Immediately start snoring again. <laughs> Which, for the record, Devin, you snore fucking worse than I do, okay? I know this. That happened throughout the night, and I don't know if I'd call them night terrors because I don't remember. My memory of everything was going to sleep and waking up in the morning. <laughs> She's a good sport for sure. <laughs> and she told me the following morning that one of those times I woke up and I was feeling her back or arm or something like that. Who cares? I don't know what bodily part it was. I was patting her wherever. I forgot what the lead up was to this point, but at one point I said, who are you? I didn't know it was her laying next to me. I remember none of this. This is one of the weirdest occurrences. Now, before I got married, um, and you know sometimes you say some ridiculous shit in your sleep. I don't know how often this occurs to anybody out there. If this has happened to you, leave a comment. I want to hear your story. I, I really would be interested in reading that shit. I was dead asleep, I rolled over, and I said something so ridiculous that it pulled me out of my sleep. I turned over and I said very loudly, by the way, BASKETS AND MEXICANS! BASKETS AND MEXICANS! <laughs> I came out of it because I heard it and I said, what the fuck did I just say? She couldn't answer my question. She was too busy nearly pissing herself. But sleep is very important, guys. Sleep has always been a priority for me since high school. I never understood when my friends would bitch and complain of how tired they were. And I'd say, well, when did you go to sleep last night? I didn't go to sleep till four in the morning, bro. Why, why did you do that? <laughs> why? Because I was playing video games with my friends in China. That voice kind of sounds like Connie from Brickleberry. 